Law enforcement across the state spent three days learning from the FBI on ways to identify behavioral red flags in order to prevent mass violence. We as a community will continue to stay updated on technology, human intelligence, and an analytical processes in an effort to protect our communities from violence. Special agent in charge Robert Fuller says after continuous mass shootings, the FBI decided to begin regularly training local police departments to partner with the Bureau. But to have a, a law enforcement, specifically on the federal side, because we are not built um, specifically to deal with the juvenile threat, so we do rely on our state and local partners. But in order to prevent these tragedies from happening, community leaders need to notice and address certain behaviors that could be an indication of things to come. If we can demonstrate compassion when an individual or family is in distress, we can then engage and refer to ongoing supports, strengthen resilience, and divert from hospitals and the criminal justice system. Recently, the number of mental health crises across the state are on the rise. In the last year, crisis calls have tripled in, in the state statewide. In the last two years, crisis evaluations have increased by 20%. And it's not just police who play a role in prevention and providing help to those in need. Clinicians, school officials and local businesses, our goal is to prevent any incident of targeted violence in Connecticut long before it takes place and get these individuals the help they need. It's up to everyone. The public should know a number of individuals who wish to engage in targeted violence or mass shootings often voice their grievance and or partial plans to friends, family, and coworkers. And that is simple as see something, say something. Officers who attended the training believe this will help current investigations. This, but I didn't realize how in depth they could really go and assist us with a lot of cases that we're actually working. In New London, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. Jake, thank you. Next